Welcome to the first edition of the Wildcat Weekly. Our focus on this edition with Superintendent Shelley Eric will be the Washington Pre-K Center. Before we get to that, it is Teacher Appreciation Week. That's pretty cool. And uh, what are we doing for our teachers? Oh, Sean, you wouldn't believe all the wonderful activities and food items and prizes that our sites have collected and have planned for their staff this week. It is the National Teacher Appreciation Week. And I'll have to tell you, uh, Ponca City has some of the best teachers in the world. And we appreciate our teachers every single day. But this is the designated week to show appreciation and all the love to our teachers and I know a lot of our parents are having their children draw pictures and e even if parents call them or email them and tell them how much they appreciate them it really goes a long way with our teachers they yeah. uh, I, I know our community will make our teachers feel special this week yeah for sure uh, well we congratulate and we say thank you to all of our teachers this uh, national uh, teacher Appreciation Week, and my daughter is a teacher, so mm -hmm. I need to uh, reach out to her. Maybe send her a text. Send a text. I appreciate you know, all maybe she does. A, send and just, a card and flowers. You maybe. might just tell her we'd love to have her come back, Yeah, too. well, I would love to have her come back, too. Okay, we'll put that in your school. text. <laughs> um, let's talk Washington Pre-K. That's our focus for this edition of the Wildcat Weekly. Um, Washington Pre-K, uh, what an amazing school for these youngsters. We're talking four years old. Right? The majority. That's are right. Four. Well, you have to be four on or before September 1st to attend Washington Pre K. And that's a state law, yeah. not a Ponca City Public Schools requirement. But I tell people this all the time if you ever need cheering up, just stop by Washington Pre K yeah, and for sure. done. It is done. Yeah. All the kids love you and they hug you and they're doing fun activities over there. We have 11 teachers over there, Sean, 11 regular classes. Rooms, and then we have the training skills lab right. uh, that is over there as well. So 12 classrooms and in each of those 12 classrooms, we have a TA in every classroom. Mm, so we try to keep our ratio pretty low. It's usually 20 students to two teachers, a teacher and a TA. And then our principal is Tina Fisher and she is this exuberant, fun principal who plans all of these amazing activities and the kids all love her and the teachers all love her. Yeah. And we just love our they, center. They foster a wonderful environment for uh, for not not just learning, but uh, to help these youngsters make the transition from a lot of them coming from daycare, now they're in the pre-K center. That's so that's right. an adjustment. Going to school for the yeah. first time is always fun. And we used to have pre-K at our elementary sites. Mm -hmm. And... Um, like the Union kids were at Union, the Trout kids were at Trout. Right. We've recently right. moved them over to the Washington Pre-K Center. I believe it was year 17, 18. Mm -hmm. And it's sometimes an adjustment. And all, oftentimes it's hard for the kids because they sure. don't want to leave mom and dad. And I'll tell you who it's harder on, mom and dad, leaving yeah, the kids. Well, and yeah, sure. if, if they'll just hand us their kids crying, we will, I promise, we will love them and protect them. And yeah. within 15 seconds, they've stopped crying. Oh, after for mom sure. mom and dad leave. For so. sure. Well, the reason we're talking about Washington Pre-K Center uh, this week on this edition of the Wildcat Weekly is because it's time to enroll your kids. Now, you mentioned it earlier again. How old do you have to be to attend pre -K? You have to be four on or before September 1. Now, enrollment pre-registration is occurring right now at our registration center at 111 West Grand, and there are several requirements for enrolling. Uh, you actually have to bring a birth certificate or a birth record. Um, lots of vaccinations required for mm -hmm. pre-K, and mm -hmm. I won't go through all of those, but you can get them at the health department, K County Health Department, or with the pediatrician, local pediatrician, and or uh, parents can also opt out. And we have an, a form on file. Just talk to Maureen at the registration center, mm -hmm. and parents can opt out for religious, medical, or personal reasons, but... Uh, Getting those students vaccinated helps prevent, 
you know, diseases and, and illnesses from spreading across our schools, um, parents need to bring a birth certificate, birth record, photo ID. It has to be a parent or a guardian, photo ID, and proof of residency. And we have to have a proof of residency, even though they're not at their elementary schools, just to make sure they're in the Ponca City Public School District. So... So uh, the enrollment period, is there like a, a window? Is there a specific amount of time? The window was last week and then this week, mm -hmm. May 2nd through May 6th. Now this is just pre-enrollment. We, like we like to have pre-enrollment early for our pre-K students. Uh, if they're first time kids in Ponca City mm -hmm. Public Schools, mm -hmm. if the parents may have lots of questions, so we like to give them a more personalized enrollment time rather than general registration right. time. So um, consider enrolling your kids in Washington Pre-K. They do lots of fun activities. They have a morning assembly every morning. Mm -hmm. They do parental involvement nights. They have bingo, silent auction. They do a literacy night, and that's typically at Christmas. And it's all things Polar Express, and they recreate the experiences oh, wow. for the kids. They do an Easter egg hunt. Uh, they're learning all kinds of different things. But here, here's the number one question that parents ask. What can I do to prepare my child for pre-K? Yeah, that's a good question. So here's what I would suggest. Drive by the pre-K center. It's out on North 7th, just north of the high school. Stand alone and say, hey, there's your school. Bring them to play on yeah. the playground because that's always an exciting time. We want our kids to feel comfortable. It's hard to leave mom and dad, right. but once they're there, they're fine. The activities they do all day long just make the kids really enjoy it. Um, some things parents can do now is read to their children, have them do puzzles, have them color independently. So just how to learn that mm -hmm. time on task because that's right. hard and we work up to that. The beginning of pre-K, we still take naps right after lunch because yeah. everybody's a little tired after lunch. Uh, another thing that I would encourage parents to do is work on potty training. Make sure that they can go to the restroom right. independently, put their jacket on and off by themselves. Buttons are a little, still a little bit hard for pre-Kers. Sure. So obviously we'll help them with that. We'll help them with anything. But here's a key thing. Make sure your child knows their first and last names. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, parents have to work and other people bring them to the pre-K center and never fails. Always at the beginning, beginning of the school year, somebody might have their backpack that's not labeled with their name right. and can't tell them their name. So no nicknames, their first name and their last name by what they go by, and yeah. that will help us. All but right. Pump Up Washington Pre-K, it, it's a great place, and it's free, public school. So yeah. Yeah. we want all the wildcat cubs we can get. Now, you mentioned um, transportation. Mm, uh, that's a good one. Yeah, please tell us about that. Okay, so state law says that four-year-olds have to be transported in a car seat. We do not have a bus equipped right. with car right. seats. Right. So uh, parents have to provide their own transportation. We don't get to do field trips in pre-K because we can't load them up on the bus. However, right. we walk. We've gone to the concert hall before right. to see a Stephen Fight performance and uh, We've walked to parks before, so there are all kinds of fun activities, but just start encouraging your children to get ready for pre-K because I promise you they will love it. And one thing they do at the pre-K center is they maintain their own Facebook page. Teachers post all kinds of activities, read alouds. It's probably our most interactive pre-K page with parents posting, teachers posting, all information out there. Yeah, for sure. Well, the Washington Pre-K Center enrollment period, the pre-enrollment, is happening right now. And we want you to get your child enrolled. Find out more at pcps.us. You can also go to the Punk City Public Schools Facebook page for the district. Uh, and there are, of course, separate Facebook pages for each site. When your child is enrolled, you'll have access to that information and that Facebook page as well. Well, that's going to do it for this edition of the Wildcat Weekly. Next week, our focus will be end-of-year activities 
at Pohai and Shelly, there are a lot of them it happening. It gets busy yeah. these last three weeks. So. Yeah, we're going to have plenty to talk about right here on the Wildcat Weekly. I'm Sean Anderson. Thank you for watching. And Wildcats, remember, hold that line.